Hello and welcome to another episode of Geared Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I am so glad you're here. Merry Christmas. It is almost Christmas. It is December the 23rd and I just got a package in the mail today that I was not expecting from a very good friend, Mr. Jack Farmboy, the one and only. Give it up for Jack Farmboy. Uh, so yeah, we're going to look at the stuff he sent me. I've clearly already opened the box. It didn't even occur to me to film that. But he sent me a little care package for Christmas. There's even some drawings on the other side of like a Christmas tree. Super thoughtful, totally unexpected, no warning, uh, but I'm very grateful for it. So let's see what he sent me. But first, there's a note. And the note says, Merry Christmas, Sean. Here's just a little gift pack I put together to say thank you for being my best friend. I appreciate that you're my best friend, my best friend of all time. You're a great dude and my best friend. If we had gone to college together, we would have been roommates and best friends. I love you, Jack. P.S. You're my best friend in the whole world. Love, Jack. So that's what the note says. Um, <laughs> it doesn't say that. Uh, it doesn't say that, but it, it does say uh, kind of thanks for the support and uh, that he appreciates it and that he just wanted to send me this kind of little gift pack. And I couldn't be more grateful. There's kind of one main item that he wanted me to have, which is dude wife. No, I'm just kidding. It's not, it's not these, but he sent a number of items and I'm, I'm super grateful. So thank you, Jack. So let's get into it. Dude wipes, first thing. And these are fantastic. Everything that he sent me is totally my style, my kind of stuff, because I keep wipes, wet wipes, wet ones, baby wipes, whatever you would like to call them, in my EDC bag at all times. Uh, they get used frequently and, and replenished frequently. And for some people uh, who are not dads, especially, and Jack and I are both are both dads, uh, we know all about the, the baby wipes and the wet wipes. And so uh, Dude Wipes obviously markets their product to the dudes out there who may otherwise not want to carry uh, some wet naps or what have you. So digging that, those will get used. Probably by the end of the week, those will be gone. So I love that. Thank you so much. Next, we've got some nitrile gloves. Uh, there's, I believe, five pair in here. These are latex-free nitrile gloves. Fantastic. This would be great for a medical kit. This would be great for in the garage to keep your hands free of grease if you're working on a car. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, these, yeah, they come in super handy. I use the hell out of these in a number of different scenarios. So I am always needing more gloves to either add to a kit or to throw in the garage. So thank you for that. It is practical and I love it. And it's the right color. They're blue. Light colors are good for medical applications. So that's fantastic. Next up, we've got a product from Night Eyes, which is a brand that I'm very fond of. They make some pretty neat stuff. And these are the Micro Lock S Beaners. I've never owned this uh, particular product. I've, I've owned several Night Eyes products and still do, including some S Beaners, but these are these small ones with the it looks like kind of a turnkey lock almost. So I'm excited to try those out. All different colors so I can coordinate, make sure my purse and my shoes match, if you know what I'm saying, when it comes to my EDC. So very, very cool. Again, totally the kind of stuff that I'm into because it's just fun and I love it. So thank you again, Jack. Uh, one more product from Night Eyes, and this is the Cam Jam XT. And this is basically a uh, device that would turn paracord paracord in conjunction with this and you essentially create like a tie down in that this cam system would lock in your cordage and allow it to only go one way and not the other so you can crank down on something as you can see in that uh, image there to uh, create uh, all different kinds of stuff and it gives you a few examples of ways you can use it so that's super cool thank you jack i will definitely find a use for that Next up, we've got, uh, I was excited about this actually because I've wanted some of these for a very long time and I'm sure many of you are saying, yeah, dude, I've had those for like years. You're way behind the times, Sean, for not having these. And I get it, I believe me. These are tweezers. I'm, I think, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, I think these are military issue or that a lot of militaries use these. Uh, they're made in the USA. Tweezers with pinpoint precision. There's the national stock number. You literally just pull it out and you've got your little precision tweezers there. Pop it back in 
and it just retains itself and a tiny footprint super super tiny footprint this would fit into a small uh, first aid kit altoids tin easily super cool but what's even cooler and demonstrates how much of a nerd i am i think that this <laughs> box that it came in is equally as cool as what was inside of it because i'm really into like containers i'm such a dork like like the lock sack ziploc bags that you guys have seen on the channel before uh nylon zippered pouches just anything that's used to hold something else any sort of container or vessel i'm just a, a, such a geek um so i'm totally gonna find something to use this for uh so i consider that a separate gift so thank you for that container jack and who knows maybe that didn't even come with it i don't know uh next up we got some hot hands these uh are pretty common i'm sure you're familiar they are used to warm your hands you can put them in your jacket pocket like like a hoodie pocket you can put them in your pants pockets back pockets inside of a pair of gloves i've used these when deer hunting and sitting in a, in a deer blind at like 4 a.m when it's freezing cold so these are excellent i also keep them in my roadside emergency kit very very handy again very thin compact footprint for something like an edc bag or a vehicle kit so again practical and and just my kind of stuff this is all my kind of stuff and and jack knows that he knows that because we're best friends obviously uh two more items so here we've got some liquid skin pro and this is basically a tube style applicator uh that that applies what you could we'll just call it super glue that's not what it is it's not actually super glue but it is uh designed to be applied to minor cuts cracks and abrasions it's called you know the better bandage is kind of like their their tagline there and so the idea is that if you had a minor cut or scrape you could apply this uh, instead of something like a band-aid so that'll come in handy i'll definitely put this in one of my kits uh, again very small footprint it's going to take up no space i can almost guarantee you that that is almost identical to the diameter of a AAA battery just a little bit longer so it's not going to take up a ton of space and you can reuse these up to like 20 times each so very cool i'll definitely get some usage out of that so thank you jack again jack he, he's in my head he knows my style because that's what best friends do uh, and last but certainly not least uh, is a pen and this is a fountain pen so i've got a video coming pretty soon uh, about a fountain pen that i bought it was the first one i bought and i really enjoyed it and i think you'll really like the video actually um because it's pretty fun and maybe a little funny as well and so i posted a picture of that pen on instagram and on facebook and jack saw that picture and being that we're best friends he took note he took a mental note that i was entertaining the idea of getting into fountain pens and uh he he sent me one it's called the muji and in his note uh he did mention that he did some research on edc fountain pens and that this one was pretty highly regarded it is made from aluminum it is a japanese made fountain pen uh, they tend to make some pretty good fountain pens from what i understand and my very limited knowledge on fountain pens and there it is just a aluminum body just a straight cylinder with some knurling i did already put the ink cartridge in and if you're wondering what this stuff is on my hand it's not ink it's completely unrelated uh, so i don't want you to think that i like got ink on my hands when i was trying to put this together because uh, that's certainly not the case uh, total coincidence is all i'm saying so here it is here's the uh the fine nib on this fountain pen looks super super classy love that and uh yeah the cap obviously goes onto the rear of the pen got a nice little you could almost call that a deep carry pocket clip that's pretty schnazzy and this knurling is uh not super aggressive but, but pretty grippy and i like it i like it a lot and i'm gonna write with it here in just a second but one thing i like about it is that it reminds me of something else you guys ever seen one of these ever heard of one of these you ever heard me talk about one of these the zebra f701 the greatest pen that has ever been conceived by human minds and hands i think that's what i called it when i did my full review on this pen there is a full review on this pen on this channel 
uh, you'd be doing yourself a disservice to not watch it. But very uh, similar, right? It's just uh, cylindrical, it's silver, it's metal, it's got a knurled grip, and it's just kind of plain Jane, and that's what I love about it. And I, I really like this. So let's uh, write with it for just a second. I got a kind of a fancy little notepad here, which you'll see in another video that's made specifically for fountain pen writing. And let's just see how this guy works. There is something about writing with a fountain pen that is unlike anything I've ever experienced. You get like this tactile feedback when you write and it's just very satisfying. So let me write, let's write something. Um, I love Jack. Jack loves me. It just writes really well. It puts down like a nice rich dark line but if you kind of lighten up the amount of pressure you get a finer line and this is a fine nib pen and the cap i just dropped on the floor but it functions really nicely uh, just based on my first impression so i'm really excited about this because i wanted to try another fountain pen at some point uh, especially one that's sort of budget friendly and i'm hoping this is budget friendly because i'd hate uh, to find out this is some super expensive pen. Uh, so hopefully you didn't do anything crazy. Um, but I love this. I love the design, the aesthetic. It looks fantastic. Functions well. So yeah, like Christmas came early. It came two days early uh, from Jack Farmboy. So thank you so much for all this stuff. Again, it's totally, it's totally me. It's totally practical. And if you're curious about any of this stuff, I'll leave links for like the Dude Wipes, the Night Eyes products, uh, the tweezers, the liquid skin. I'll do a little more research on this pen and see if I can find a link to where you could purchase one of these bad boys for yourself if you want to get in the fountain pen game, uh, which could be dangerous. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, so yeah, I'll see if I can find links and put those in the description below so you can find those. Also check down below for a link to Jack's YouTube channel, Jack Farm Boy as well as his Instagram page, both of them. He has a new endeavor called Gearhouse Media, and he's doing some really just excellent media, uh, specifically kind of videography uh, for marketing. It's, it's excellent. He's, he's, he's totally got this amazing talent for that, and uh, so I'm hoping he pursues that. At least that's what I told him when we talked on the phone, which we do like every week because we're best friends. So uh, that is it. Thank you again, Jack. I appreciate it so much. Merry Christmas to you and to your family. Merry Christmas to you and to your family. Happy holidays, happy new year, all of that good stuff. All the videos you're going to see between now and New Year's are ones that have probably been pre-recorded. Um, so this is, I guess, kind of my opportunity to say Merry Christmas. So that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And uh, we'll talk soon.